Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, can I use that picture that I found on the internet? And so we'll start with the obvious one. If it's your own picture, of course, you can go ahead and use it. Unless, of course, you sold the rights to someone else. But for most people watching this video, that won't be the case. So if it's your picture, go ahead and use it. But if you don't have a picture that's appropriate for the project you're working on, then look for pictures that are in the public domain. These are things funded by government projects, pictures whose copyrights have expired, or pictures that have been released into the public domain by the photographer. Now, if you can't find those, then we'll look for things that have a Creative Commons license. And I have a link to the Creative Commons licenses in the description down below. But in general, you must give attribution and you must share alike when using Creative Commons licensed pictures. Again, the licensing details you need to read closely and I have those linked up right down below. Finally, we have the option for fair use. You might be able to use a picture if it qualifies as a fair use. Those of you watching this video who think about using a picture in a school setting, using it for a school project doesn't automatically qualify it as a fair use. You should probably try to use it in a critique, a parody, or as an instructional aid when nothing else will do. And some guidelines for fair use are, again, linked up in the description down below. Now, for my audience outside of the U.S., fair use may have different rules in your country, and it may be called something other than fair use. But for my U.S. audience, fair use, generally, you're looking to use that picture in a critique, a parody, or as an instructional aid when nothing else will do. And for more things like this, please visit practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.